Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the operation and construction of this reflux klystron oscillator. Reflux klystron oscillator is a second type of uh, O-type tubes. In the O-type tubes, first we have seen uh, klystron amplifier. Every uh, type of tubes has having uh, two different types of uh, categories. One is amplifier and the other one is oscillator. Uh, similarly, klystron is a type of uh, that is coming under O-type tubes. Uh, uh, again, we have oscillator and as well as amplifier. So, uh, klystron amplifier we have seen in the previous videos. So now, I am going to explain about the klystron oscillator. So, we know the basic difference between amplifier and oscillator. Amplifier takes the input, amplifies and gives the output. Okay, but whereas in the oscillator, it will not take any AC or uh, alternating signal. It takes only the DC signal and produces an RF output. Produces RF output. Here, the uh, reflex klystron, reflex klystron oscillator is nothing but here the entire thing is works with uh, velocity modulation like your uh, klystron amplifier. It also works with velocity modulation. So velocity modulation is nothing but change of velocity of the electron across the klystron tube. So why the name reflex klystron oscillator is? It, here the electrons are being rippled, reflected back from the rippler. A high velocity of the electron will be rippled back, and again that will be creating some oscillations. And klystron is a tube, glass tube that is used to pass the electron to move the electron from um, what is that uh, applied voltage cathode to the anode. And oscillator, as the name clearly tells, that it is an oscillator which is used to produce an RF signal. Okay, so that is the name why it is a reflex klystron oscillator. So it works with the principle called velocity modulation. So reflex klystron, it is used to generate. RF signal with high power at microwave frequency. It works with The principle called it works with the principle called velocity modulation. Velocity modulation. So, what do you mean by velocity modulation? Velocity modulation is nothing but means changing or change of velocity of electron change of velocity of the electron across the across the gap here gap is nothing but it is in between the uh, re-entrant cavity here we are using re-entrant cavities that reentrant cavity creates a gap between the two cavities. Okay, I will explain when we go to the diagram. Okay, so here it uh, works with a very efficiently and gives very high amount of RF voltage. Okay, so the construction. Construction includes two voltages. Voltages here it is nothing but DC voltages. Two voltages of DC type. DC voltages they are anode voltage or we can call it as accelerating voltage or we can call it as accelerating voltage 
and another one is repeller voltage repeller voltage vr here it is anode voltage va okay so these are the two voltages required for the entire operation of this reflex klystron one is anode voltage another one is repeller voltage by seeing the names itself we can somewhat get an idea that anode voltage va is responsible for the generation of electrons okay anode voltage used to generate electron beam okay so number of electrons are being originated because of the application of anode voltage to the electron gun so that the electron gun gets energized and it produces beam of electrons towards the rippler and another thing is rippler voltage it is used to reflect the electrons it is used to reflect the electrons towards gap okay this is what the story uh, just behind the construction of this reflex klystron let us see the construction of this reflex klystron so that you can understand much better what is what see here this is the glass tube this is the glass tube named as klystron this is the glass tube named as klystron where the electrons have a feasibility to travel and as I said, there are two voltages required. One is the anode voltage VA, another one is the rippler voltage VR. So rippler voltage is connected, positive terminal is connected to this anode and negative terminal is connected to this rippler plate. This is the rippler electrode plate which is in this curved shape, which is connected at the opposite end of this electron gun. And this is the place where we have the electron gun. This electron gun is energized with the application of the high negative voltage that is from the anode voltage. Anode voltage negative terminal is connected to the electron gun to energize the electron beam. And positive terminal is connected to this cavity. Re-entrant cavity. So positive terminal is connected to this cavity. Okay. This is the cavity main responsible for the generation of a output RF output. See here RF output we are collecting from the axle cable okay this is the outer structure coming to the internal structure what we have internally we have focusing anodes so these are focusing anodes this is focusing anode what is the purpose of focusing anode is the electron gun releases a beam of electrons in order to make them to travel in a straight path so we are using focusing anodes so focusing anodes direct the electron beam towards the rippler plate okay suppose consider a case when the electrons are traveling from the electron gun towards the rippler electrode rippler plate okay uh, i told you a gap is there junction this is the gap it is the gap because the electron changes its velocity only after crossing this gap okay until the electron reaches this gap electron travels with a velocity that is the reference electron this electron travels with standard velocity that is v naught standard velocity that is v naught which travels v naught is the velocity with which the electron travels with normal velocity that velocity is a standard velocity and uh, that reference that electron is known as the reference electron which travels with standard velocity this electron has no influence on the no influence from the other devices other sources okay so the electron which travels with the constant velocity that is er now after crossing this gap there will be generation of three different electrons they are reference electron early electron and late electron reference electron early electron and late electron so what do you mean by early electron reference electron i told you already reference electron is nothing but the velocity uh, the electron which travels with the standard velocity early electron is the one early electron is the one which travels with the higher velocity than 
the standard velocity and crosses the junction and late electron is the one which travels with less velocity and crosses the junction. There are three different types of voltages now we have seen. One is the standard velocity V0, another one is the greater than velocity, another one is the less than the standard velocity. So the change in the velocity occurs only at this gap because of this anode potential applied to this cavity. Okay, few electrons may be attracted by this positive supply and few electrons may not responsible for this, may not respond for this voltage and few electrons just travels and crosses this gap, which will not respond, that is the reference electron which directly goes with the same velocity, which will be attracted more positively, that is early electron and which will be more repelled, that is a late electron. Okay, however, at this junction, there are three electrons are generated, reference electron, late electron and early electron. These three are crossing this junction and move towards this repeller electrode. Now, see here, as there are the change in the voltages of this reference electron, early electron and late electron, reference electron goes to some extent and again rippled back because of this rippler pellet. What is the repeller plate voltage? The repeller plate voltage is having negative supply. Electrons are of negative charge. So that negative electrons, a negative plate that will be reflected back towards the again gap. That is the reference electron. As the reference electron is traveling with the standard velocity, it moves up to a certain distance. Coming to the early electron, early electron moves with higher velocity. Early electron moves with higher velocity. So now this is the repeller space which is from the gap to the repeller electrode. So the early electron as it travels with higher velocity, it goes somewhat much nearer to this repeller plate and again reflected back. Okay, early electron is the only electron that can travel much deeper into the repeller space because of its higher velocity, remember this. Okay. And late electron is the one which travels with very less velocity than the reference electron. So it travels very just a lower deeper into the repeller space and again reflected back. Okay, so these are the three different positions that are traveling towards this repeller space. But however, the distance traveled by them is different and velocity is different. But the time instant at which they will be reflected back and collected at the gap is same. Okay, so the, the three electrons together they will come at this junction at the same time and creating a bunch and producing an RF signal. Okay, so because of that high positive charge and low negative charge of this electron, early electron and late electron respectively, they will be creating some RF signal and which will be coming out from this coaxial cable. Okay, so this is about the construction of this uh, reflex klystron uh, reflex klystron oscillator. So what we have seen, they uh, due to the application of anode voltage, or we can so call it as accelerating voltage, because it changes the velocity of electron. Anode voltage, there will be three different electrons. They are ER reference electron. E, E, early electron, and E, L, late electron, late electron. If you say reference electron that moves with standard velocity, standard velocity v0 we can write it as standard velocity v0 is equal to 2 e v a by e m applied accelerating voltage 2 e v a by e m 
and the early electron early electron its velocity is greater than the standard velocity and the late electron travels with lesser velocity compared to the standard velocity so early electron goes much deeper into the rippler space much deeper into the rippler space rippler space is the gap between the cavities and the reflector cavities and the reflector so early electron goes much deeper into the rippler space as it is traveling with higher velocity because of its velocity only they are changing the distances and a reference electron goes up to some distance but late electron goes just very small distance or little distance into the rippler space okay however these three electrons will reach the gap at the same time at the same time and creates a bunch okay now let us see the operation much more uh, effectively with help with the help of applicate diagram so this is the applicate diagram and uh, see here as i told you three different electrons early electron reference electron late electron and uh, the ele early electron reference electron late electron they are taking the path and travels in the rippler space this is the gap see distance from the gap nothing but rippler space this is the position of the reflector this is the position of the reflector reflector electrode so as i told you early electron goes much deeper and the reflector plate as it is applied with some potential it will be reflected back towards the gap at some point again the reference electron also goes towards the some uh, distance and again coming back a late electron also going but it will not go much deeper as i said earlier because its velocity is very small and again coming back towards this gap at some point so all these three electrons are coming to the same point at the same time okay is nothing but gap creating a bunch because of this high positive potential is going to be occurred so the voltage generated because of this uh, uh, three electrons is like this so the rf reflecting voltage is having high positive potential at this early electron and no voltage at this late ele reference electron and very least amount of negative voltage at this early electron and these oscillations are being generated like this okay this is what the bunching process and the applicate diagram of this uh, reflex klystron oscillator so finally this is the way how the oscillations are being generated with the process of velocity modulation using reflex klystron oscillator thank you